Hi, it's Ian from Dancing Goat Coffee. Um, um, this is an introduction to uh, a video Zoom uh, call that we've done with a customer that's purchased a, a Euro Picola EM. So this machine that's, that's to my left here. Um, sometimes if you've never had a, a manual lever machine before, you need a little bit of guidance setting the machines up. It's not something you can simply unbox, put the coffee in the grinder and away you go. There needs some, there's some real intricacies in how you set up and match especially the coffee grind to the machine and then how you use the lever and how you get the best out of your, your machine and your coffee. So the video is quite a long video and we've edited it so you'll see it skip along but hopefully it's a really um, useful little insight into how you use and how you set up for the first time your manual lever machine if you're lucky enough to have one. So Excellent. if we look at the side of the grinder um, yeah. you've got a, an adjustment knob on the side of the grinder. So, so that, these, hold on, let me just, let me just make sure that, uh, uh, yeah, that's the one, yeah. yeah. That one there. Yeah. So right. going, turning clockwise um, makes the grind smaller. Yeah. And turning anti-clockwise makes the grind bigger. Right. And, and the analogy that we've got there is that we're actually, we're, we're filling that group handle. That thing there. Okay, yeah. we're going to use the double group handle with the largest basket. And what, what we're going to do, yeah, perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill that with ground coffee. But if I make the analogy that we, we go down to the beach and we take a colander with us and we fill that full of pebbles and pour yeah. the water through it, the water would rush through very quickly. So if, that, if those pebbles were, were coffee, were ground coffee, you wouldn't get much extraction from that. It would pass through very quickly and you wouldn't get any of the characteristics of the, of the coffee. So what we need to do is fill that colander with sand and then if you imagine we pour water into the top of that it would go through very very slowly but because we've got the, the lever machine <clears throat> excuse me we're able to push water through under pressure which is what makes the espresso so the first thing we have to do when we're setting up new equipment and setting up a grinder or setting up um, anything like that <laughs> so um, we we need to um, uh, correctly grind the coffee so we need to get a nice kind of balance between um, sand and pebbles in order to get the correct pressure yeah. and then that really nice creamy espresso so we'll use a little bit of coffee and this is one reason why we always um, supply a little bit of coffee with machines just because we know that there's always this kind of little um, experiment you know kind of uh, way of feeling your way into it yeah so what we'll do is we'll, we'll put half a bag of coffee in the top of the hopper half a bag please half yeah. Right, so half a bag in the grinder. Perfect. Okay, what I would say then is if you take um, just maybe a small saucer and let's just uh, let's just prime the grinder. So we're going to push the button with the saucer. Um, let me just show you what I'm going to do. You see on, on mine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take a saucer and then back white button this on there. I'm going to press again. Got it. Okay. Everyone can see um, what the coffee is ground like. Usually, the factory are really good at setting the uh, the grinders up to be close to what's needed. Um, but each coffee is different. So when you try different coffees from different roasters and different roasters, yeah. you'll find that you have to alter the grind. Got it. Okay. Right. Uh, let's find a. Oh. Okay, so we'll look at that. So <laughs> we'll... God, no. right. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it's a bit difficult this. to see that, isn't it? Uh -huh. We can do this. Uh, hold on. Let's do it that way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Can so see? can you see? Can you see how it's kind of clumping together a little bit? Yes. Yeah. It's difficult to get on the camera, isn't it? <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so that we would say that that's a, that's about perfect. Is that so? We think that that's we're not making any adjustments on that. We won't know for certain until we've actually run the water through the. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting a bit. Of, I'm getting some clumping. So. Okay, that'll do. You might find that some people would say that that's too fine, but we don't know until we put the pressure. You know, you'll feel that pressure. And, when and does it matter? Oh, so different beans have different grinds. Certainly. So each roast, each coffee, the origin of the coffee sometimes has the different characteristic, which means that, um, you know, it might be more oily, the process that's been used to, um, to roast it or prepare it. 
uh, different kinds of roasting can also bring out different characteristics. Because it's an organic product, um, it's, it's very difficult to give you a, a binary setting. So we don't say grinder number, setting number four, and yeah. um, you know, pressure 9.6 bar. It's very difficult and it, it, and it also ages. Um, yes. So it, and it moves as well. You will find people get extremely scientific about it. Um, but there's, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's an Italian saying, which is the four M's, which is Michela, which is the, the grinder, uh, sorry, the blend of the coffee. Uh, Machina dosatore, which is your grinder. Yeah. Machina for cafe, which is your coffee machine. And then finally, uh, Mano, and then they're the four ingredients that they always claim are the, the requirements for making a good espresso. Good espresso. Um, yeah, and, and literally what's happening there is the, the, the barista's experience at the very end is choosing all of those things and making them all work together. Got okay, it. So are we, up to, are we up to temperature of the machine? So I've got, I'm still red on the okay. machine. But the, the, green, the green light is flashing on and off. Okay, perfect, because that's telling us we're up to temperature. So if you open up the steam wand a little bit, um, so just, uh, just twist that little black knob on the side, and you should produce a little bit of steam out of the steam wand. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to warm up the group handle as well, because we've not had the group handle in, engaged in the machine. So if you take that, the, the group handle, lock it yeah. into the machine there, and if you take a, a cup, Okay, it's in. So have you have you twisted it so it's almost at ninety degrees? So if you can see, oh no, it's not. Yeah, that's it. Let's so have a look at yours. Can you see that? Yeah, no, no. Don't want to break it. No, 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 no it's not. You're gonna, <laughs> you're, gonna, so, you're, gonna you're gonna have to be quite. You're gonna have to put a lot. You're gonna put probably what's gonna surprise you is an amount of power through that handle. So that that's perfect. Oh, about yeah. there. That's perfect. So the, the pouring um, spouts on the handle are almost horizontal across. They're in line with the cup grid, aren't they? They're, they're in line with the, with the grate, almost in line with the grate. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to take a cup, and if you just watch what I do here, yeah, I'm not there. Underneath, underneath the spout, I'm just going to hold it there, and then I'm just going to wash a little bit of water into my cup. It's doing two things. Okay, that's putting the warm water in the cup, so it's heating the cup because we've got a cold cup. Yeah. Also, because I had the group handle out, or you had the group handle out of the machine, it's warming the group handle. If you use any element that's cold, um, whilst you make an espresso, it'll kill the crema and it'll spoil the spoil the taste for you. See, I've learned something new there as well. Look at that. Everything nice and warm. Right. So, just so if I just. So I just lift. Uh, lift, lift up and then you feel resistance, put your hand yeah. on the top. Yeah. That's it. And then maybe again. And can you hear water rush through into the chamber? That's it. Yes, there we are. Yeah, there you go. So drop it down again. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is when we've, we're going to grind some coffee into the group handle. So I'll yeah. do that first and then you can, you can follow me. Okay. So you'll Perfect. see what I'm going to do with this. Have you got the tamper as well that you've, that you've got with us? So yeah, yeah, amazing. Okay, so again, the tamping of the of the coffee is is a little bit um, down to the experience of the barista, how much ground coffee you've used, how firm you how yeah. firm you tamp it, and then the the amount of coffee that goes into there. So you'll see me. Maybe you'll see on camera. I'm not sure if it's, if it's possible. But I'm pushing the <laughs> Before it's tamped. Okay, so yeah, so heat on top, yeah. So just making a bit of a mess on the side there, just, just tapping on the side. I'm, I'm just tapping to settle, and then I tamp. Yeah. Firm pressure, and then a quarter turn and twist, just to seal the coffee. So you can see then hopefully. Yeah, see, yeah. yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna lock that in position. Same position as before, across, and then this is where you're going to see a difference in how it operates to when there's no coffee in that group handle. So as I lift up the group handle there, I go right to the top, which floods that chamber, which yeah. is against the ground coffee. That's the pre-infusion. 
So you can hear it rush the water in there. And then we go a couple of little pumps on the angle. See it's producing coffee already. And then under pressure, that down Good grief. To create a really nice crema. I don't think you can see on the camera, so what I'll do is I'll bring that on so you can see what. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if anything, I would suggest that, that, that my grind is a little bit coarse this morning, so I'd go just a touch finer, um, which is that clockwise on that on that dial. Yeah. Okay, but the first things first, let's try and see if we can make a, a coffee with your machine now. See if we can make a coffee. Okay, okay so you, your group handle should be warm to touch now. Yep, it is. Yeah, okay, so if we disengage that, um, always kind of best practice would be to wipe the inside of the group handle with a little bit of um, kitchen roll, just with Okay. Let me find some of that. Yeah. Okay, and then push and hold it against the grinder, and then dose your grind. That's it. Okay, amazing. So that is about, do I need a bit more than that? Um, I, I would say maybe, yeah, but I mean, it's your it's first go, you know, don't, don't be afraid to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been watched by an expert. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Amazing. For a minute. Uh, right, tamper. Yeah, perfect. And then, just 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 push it down yeah firm, firm pressure. pressure yeah and then a quarter turn twist okay all right that's not gone that well so that <laughs> that is now okay yeah i mean it looks a little bit short as a dose but um, <laughs> per perfectly what what we want to be perfect is it yeah. to be um, to be level right, right across the angle, because Got it. An so, angle like that it what is like, yeah, yeah, so it is it got an angle, it's not been right. So shall so I dose it again? In fact, yeah, let's let's dose it again. But let me just say what well, if it's at an angle like this, what happens? Yeah. Um, let's just show you what the coffee looks like it's out. So that's it used now. So it should be quite flat. And the reason flat. if it's flat, when you lift up to do the pre-infusion, the water will sit equally against it. If it's at an angle or if it's not distributed correctly in that group handle it will yeah. start to form channels and then you will get quite a weak espresso and it will, oh. uh, won't, won't work correctly yeah right. we don't want that right so do i just start again or should i dose just dose on top no just knock it out let's start again let's go again with it. so the group handle is still it's still hot, so we yeah, can just go again with it. I guess we just still go with it. I've just spread coffee over everything. That wasn't <laughs> the uh, smartest thing I've ever done. Can, can you see? Uh, can you see how I've got the the little plate and stuff on the side? Because <laughs> yes, I can. Honestly, yes. it's, it's an ongoing joke in this house is the amount of mess that I make when I'm doing this. <laughs> right here, we go again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually looks really good. That looks really good. Okay, should we, right. we give it a go? Lock it in, yeah. Okay, just, just so that I can see a little bit better what's happening in the cup. Yeah. If you could just tilt the, the laptop. Yeah, of course you can. The, yeah, just, that's it, that's perfect. And then I can see what comes out. Into the yeah, cup. you don't need to see, you don't need to see me, that's good. <laughs> I like that. Okay, in from there, that's it. And then... Giving it a good... Yeah, oh. so it's not, it's in tight. If you won't go any further, that'll be because it's tight, that's it, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right. right. So if you want to warm your cup up as well, I don't know if your cup's warm or not. I'll just it's, show you what. It's, it's still, still reasonably warm. Okay. Um, so a little trick with it, if, you, if it's not warm, is to just like, put it under the steam bomb. Ah, uh, okay. Then I'll bring up the steam bomb. Just a quick sort of five seconds on the steam bomb and it it's warm. Right, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll just give, give it a go. Okay. Right. So, lift up. All the way to the top. 
So that's it. Hold the hold the uh, the black filling cap. Yeah. And then you can see that you, know, you should have heard the water flood into the group handle. Can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So then if you just pump down, um, you know, a quarter of the way, and then back up again, all the way back up again, and it should let a little bit more water in. Yeah. And okay. then right. So now down firm downwards pressure all the way down. We may find that that's a little bit fine because we're not produ are we producing coffee yet? I can't quite see. No, we're not producing any coffee. Okay. No, there's water in it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? Are you sure there's water? Uh, <laughs> I thought it'd been very quiet for a while there. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Yeah, there we go. So, so push, push quite hard down. You can see the, the base flexing because you're having to push really hard on this. Yeah. So I, I imagine that's not making a very nice cremer either. Because... Oh, that's awful. Okay. I can, uh, I'll show you that one. Yeah, uh, it's, not, it's not done yet though, Chris. You need to, to really? just uh, to try and push all the way to the bottom if you can. Okay. Oh, good grief. Am I really this week? Let's get lifted. This is lo lockdown or some. Yeah. See, there's like a wet top to it. It's yes. Just, it's too, yeah, so we need to, um, I would go two full turns on the grinder. Um, in fact, let's go three full turns anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Um, yeah, and that's opening the gap between the two sets of blades. Right, okay, so one, two, Three. Okay, good. We we are back. At, sorry, Ian. Um, <laughs> don't worry, man. This 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 the first time you use it is the bit that you don't see. You know, is the kind of setting it up and. So you know what? I'd have. You know what? I'm so grateful. I'm genuinely grateful for you giving me this lesson because that would have happened the first time I used it. I'd have gone, oh, that's not working, is it? Yeah. And I'd and I'd have no idea how to correct it. No idea. So I, I really am so grateful. Right. It's, uh, it's this kind of thing that, that really, and this will help you understand how to get the best out of it, definitely. Oh, uh, right. Okay, Ian, I'm back on track. Okay. So grab the plate and we're going to push a bit more ground coffee through the grinder. Uh, so we'll just grind a bit more. Um, So, I don't know if you can see that. It still looks quite clumpy, doesn't it? It looks quite, it, look, it, it feels clumpy, okay. if that makes sense. Does it, does it make, uh, when you compare that to what you uh, got out of the ground the first time, does it look different? No, it looks clumpier. Okay, let's go two more full turns anti-clockwise to make the, uh, the, the coffee grind coarser. Okay. Okay. Um, and then just let's try again with, yeah. It, it's nice to keep the, the ground coffee that you've just done on the other side of the plate because then you can compare it to what's coming out. So you should be able to do so there's, that's the new one. Oh God, that's the yeah. new one. So put your finger and thumb into it and then just rub yeah. it between your finger and thumb and you might be able to tell the difference between that and <laughs> then Love the it. other. Oh yeah, see what yes. you mean now. It does feel slightly coarse, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Let's push a bit more through it. Try again. Okay. So that's that. Oh God, that's that one. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go for one more full turn um, anti-clockwise to go across again. Okay. That's probably maxed out, isn't it? No, I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's how it looks that time. Oh, God, you can't see anything there. Just, that's how yeah. it looks that time. If you can, if you can tell the difference um, by touch, then I would say that we're ready to have a go again. Through the I reckon we'll have a go. I, I, it, yeah. So we're, we're, we're looking for a, a slightly coarser one, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. At this point, so, yeah. 
that one definitely feels coarser than the first one. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. okay, let's go for it. Same amount of coffee in that group handle, same pressure that you're going to apply to it when you tamp it. Um, and then, uh, then we'll lock the handle out and see how we go. Uh, where is it? There it is. Still warm, so it's all right. Uh, there's not much of this video you'll want to use, but again, <laughs> this is how not to do it. <laughs> I, I, honest, no, honestly, this this is so important for people to understand um, because it, it's this kind of knowledge behind setting them up that you need to um, you need to have because if you think you're just going to plug it in and then um, uh, yeah. just, it just literally yeah. comes out of the packet like that, it, it can't do that because even right. if you bought coffee from Pavoni, <laughs> you know, they, they would have to set it up with you. you know? They'd have to set it up as well, yeah. yeah. Right, can, okay. I, can I just say as well that you, your cup grid um, is on actually backwards. If you just spin it round, you see there's a little half moon cut oh, out. Is it? Yeah, that half moon cut out goes to the back, so it goes in the boiler. That's it. Ah, okay. There you so, go. Right. <laughs> right, okay, we're ready to go again. Right, so, so two full turns, coarser again, so anti clockwise. Two full, full turns, anti clockwise. Are you sure it shouldn't be? One round. No, because clockwise makes it smaller. Two. Right first, and then we'll. I love it, it's brilliant. Okay, so, Ian, you're can, very patient with me. Can you see that that's now a lot less clumpy for one of the best? It's a lot less. Yeah, it's a lot less clumpy. Okay, let's, less. Run, let's run the same amount through again. So, so by my reckoning there, we've done uh, maybe six full turns, maybe more, maybe eight full turns. I reckon, we've, yeah. I reckon we've done, so I've got six piles there and I think we did a couple, so I reckon we've probably done, like you say, eight, eight. full turns. Yeah, eight. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Don't put, as, for much it. Pressure. Don't put as much pressure on the tamp this time, yeah? Just okay. Just as well as this course of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I won't lean all my body weight on the tamp. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Do you want me to try the uh, tamping? Yeah, you can. There we go. Right, so let's not put full body weight. Go on, I'll give it a go. Well, I think yeah, that's so that's it. Push, yeah. push down with your thumb and you th see your thumb go pale, the pressure, and then yeah. quarter turn. Let's see. Well, yeah, that looks so much better than it did. <laughs> there we go, Mike. Yeah, yeah. My coffee critique. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good, a, yeah. That looks better, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I agree with you. <laughs> There's me telling oh, well, you. Sorry. <laughs> right, we'll plug it in and... Uh, See what happens. Do you think it's because we're starting with a handle in the wrong position? I don't think so. I yeah. just. Oh. There we go. Yeah. I think we need some more water. Okay, I reckon we'll be all right this time. <laughs> there must be something that we're not doing quite right. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, there is. It's uh, the honestly, Harvey, it's, ju Harvey, it's just, it's just dialing it in. It's just dialing the grinder right. into the machine. That's all. Oh, lift the handle. Yeah, same as before. So you feel that resistance, now you can hear it flood in the it's chamber of the coffee. Yeah. So then pump down a little bit. Now should I be seeing stuff in the cup yet or not? Um, no, with mine we did because it was a little bit coarse, my coffee. Yeah. So just pump, pump again. Okay. And then third time we're going to do the downward stroke. Perfect. You can see it producing now. So yeah. then you should, as you put the pressure on, should be a lot less resistant. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. We're getting water through. Yeah, perfect. Down, are we getting a crema on that? It looks like we might be now. We're getting a, to tell you what, we are. And that is full stroke. Yeah, all the way to the bottom, yeah. So if you let go of that, the handle might pop back a little bit. That tells us we've still got a little bit of pressure in there, so you need to be aware of that when you disengage that handle. So if you yeah. move your cup away now, and then show me the, the espresso up to the camera. I think we, we might even have... Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff.